Yes, hello. So this is going to be actually about e-bikes. It, it came as a surprise. I was thinking to make a video about e-bikes before. So I just come home. I've been cycling. This is my horse. This is a Finnish army bike. Uh, I did some modifications. I changed the gear from Shimano to the old Torpedo. Then I added this amazing, this is a bell, right? It, um, it rings really loud and I put this rack here in the front and I have some straps, rain poncho, and then this nice tool to grab stuff that might be deep inside the container and uh, yeah, a cable to lock. And, oh, and then this distance keeper and of course a helmet and some spare straps. And here's a box with uh, bike tools which most of the time I help other people um, who don't have bike tools, so it's good to have them. Um, yeah, and I just was cycling home and there was this racing bike person coming. Uh, he was like kind of slowly coming up and then we were cycling over and we had seen before, so we had uh, gone into a conversation. We were just cycling with each other and at some point he looked down and looked at my bike and, and he asked me like, do you have an electric motor somewhere, right? <laughs> because I was just keeping his pace and it's like, yeah, I mean, it was like good speed in the third gear. Um, if I go really fast, by the way, hold here, then I get like really down. That's very nice. But anyhow, like what I got to think like also now when I was uh, in Germany on this um, interrail trip and I saw people cycling you know on the weekends people going having excursions and go somewhere and cycle around with their clubs and families and friends and um, i wouldn't say that there is more people doing this today than it was 20 or 30 years ago what is different however is that at least in germany like well over 80 percent of the bikes were with a electric motor and i'm wondering like why what what, what is this um like it worked before without those electric helpers um, and now everybody has electric helpers. Maybe it's something else has changed. Maybe it's like even older people being around on the move now or who wouldn't be on the move now, but it doesn't look like it. it's also all age groups. Um, so I'm a bit curious about these e-bikes, like if they're an alternative to a car, like a, a vehicle that is heavier than the freight, I, I think that's quite good. I think we should always like consider the weight of the vehicle and the weight of the freight and then also look at the horsepower and weight of the freight relation. Um, so I think usually bikes, e-bikes, uh, also these e-scooters, they, they're kind of good. On the other hand, by that calculation, the railway might not be that good. And um, of course, in the railway, you have a lot less friction with the, with the rails. So that's a bit more efficient again. But about the e-bikes, I'm wondering two things like why do we use them like do we use them as an alternative to cars they would be good do we use them as an alternative to bicycle or walking they would be bad because they use a lot more resources and we already have bikes so we have a lot of bikes that might even be able to retrofit by the way like you could you can buy this retrofit in a front wheel where you have a motor and then you have a battery pack and a charging unit so you can you can retrofit those um, but what um, in general I would think is really important to keep in mind like is that actually something we really 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 need to survive for the survival of our species is good for the planet um, and what I think is missing in the e-bikes is that you can use the e-bike to charge the battery because in itself the e-bike is very interesting right you have a power unit like the paddles you have the motion of the bike um, you have a wheel that turns or can be turned and then you have a battery and and something that controls the charging so uh, and, and the whole electricity flow of it so basically what i see is all the infrastructure is there to make a muscle power plant right you can not only could you maybe just switch a button and while you roll downhill you charge the battery but also you could just drive around charging the battery like when you just go about doing your daily things you could just all the time charge the battery instead of using the battery to drive you around um, or you could uh, just pop up the bike on a stand make it stationary or hang it from a tree or something just to make it stationary 
and you can on this on the spot stationary at home create electricity and charge your battery and, and then use this battery to charge whatever USB devices um, you know light radio phone whatever you still consider as totally essential to to have to survive um, so yeah I, I think these e-bikes they they do have some potential um, if you're an e-bike builder or know someone please uh, push them the hint like hey they need to be um, chargeable like by muscle power um, they would just it, it would be so important because we have so many e-bikes around nowadays um, to be able to use those to make electricity it's basically a simple thing um, I mean making a muscle power plant is a simple thing so converting e-bikes making conversion kits for those converting them or building e-bikes in a way if they are still necessary that's the thing um, if they good to use instead of cars then they should have this reverse charge thingy um, yeah that was a quick video have a good time bye bye